the imperial remnant's shift toward democracy did not last indefinitely. In 44 Abbey, in the aftermath of the Lost Tribe War, the remnant ceased to exist after its reorganization into a fell empire, ruled by a hereditary monarchy, possibly by merging with the Confederation. Jagat Fell, the former head of state who had attempted to reform the remnant into a republican style of government in the first place, was crowned as the first emperor since Palpatine. In just over a month, the Cold War between the Galactic Alliance and the newly revived Galactic Empire had begun, which would last for several decades. Shortly after the outbreak of the Cold War, Jagad Fell created the Imperial Knights on Bastion, for the newly formed Fell Empire, who were the successors of the Imperial Royal Guards, but unlike the Imperial Royal Guards, who were a form of diehard loyalists to Emperor Palpatine and included the occasional Dark Jedi, the Imperial Knights were a form of Grey Jedi who abandoned the Sith's philosophy. And that was just how the galaxy was for about 80 years, two superpowers divided over territory and control. It wasn't until 126 Abbey, that things started to change, four years into the Ossus project, with the Yuzhan Vong and the Galactic Alliance, attempted to restore the worlds devastated by the Yuzhan Vong War, the one Sith, who had been hiding for nearly a century sabotaged the project and framed the species for it. The Jedi knew that they weren't responsible but were unable to prove it, while thousands of systems showed their support for the Fell Empire. In 127 Abbey, the situation worsened, when the truce between the two superpowers was broken, the one Sith came out of hiding, sided with the Fell Empire and together they declared war with the Galactic Alliance, where the Fell Empire's influence had increased significantly. In 130 Abbey, the war had ended with an imperial victory and reduced the Galactic Alliance to the Galactic Alliance remnant. However, when Fell's allies, within one Sith, led by Darth Krait, operated a coup to betray the Imperials and force the Emperor into exile, the Fell Empire was ruined and replaced with Darth Krait's Galactic Empire, which was ruled by the leader of the One Sith with an iron fist. With Coruscant secured, Darth Krait usurped the Imperial throne and declared himself Emperor of the New Galactic Empire, who began the Third Jedi Purge. This new empire, however, would later fall to ruin as well after Krait's death under the hands of Cade Skywalker. Krait's rule collapsed due to the Second Imperial Civil War, alongside his opponent, the Fell Empire in exile, after the death of the exiled Emperor Rhone Fell in 138 Abbey. Even though the Fell dynasty was restored later, it was later merged into the Galactic Federation Triumvirate, alongside the Galactic Alliance remnant and the fragmented New Jedi Order and thus was no longer the sole administration of the known universe anymore. Fell's daughter, Princess Marisaya Fell, became the new ruler of the Empire, and its first full reigning empress. While Emperor Palpatine had promised the Senate 10,000 years of imperial rule over the galaxy, it could be argued to have ultimately lasted for a grand total of only 157 years. All that remained of the First Galactic Empire was the order and benevolence running through the Fell Empire's veins. The Sith who created the Empire in the first place were defeated in 139 Abbey. Not long after the One Sith's last stand, Marisaya Fell turned the Imperial Knights to the light side of the Force and presumably rounded up the remaining Sith members, which ultimately resulted in the, wrongly, presumed permanent extinction of the Sith religion itself. The last known galactic conflict, however, did not end until the secular supporters of the One Sith were defeated themselves in 140 Abbey. After the end of all these conflicts, the galaxy had entered an era of unity and peace and was, after 172 years of Emperor Palpatine's influence, finally free of the old emperor's evil.